Good morning, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. We have breaking news coming out of the Middle East. The U.S. aircraft carrier Nimitz has entered into the Persian Gulf with a couple of other warships there. This being reported by Amman News, U.S. aircraft carrier enters Persian Gulf as tensions with Iran soar. Uh, and those tensions are definitely soaring. If you remember, reported just a day or so ago there about the Iranian Navy, their fleet were in the, uh, the Straits of Hormuz there, showing their own military prowess there, that they have a formidable force also in this region. And also, several months back, we talked about Iranian technology that they have on their missiles that cause their missiles to be undetected, undetected as they're coming in. We have been concerned about a false flag event or even a strike on a U.S. ship. Intel has been coming out to us that uh, they, there is belief that there is going to be a false flag event against uh, the USS Nimitz or, or a like ship in the Persian Gulf there once these ships had entered the region in order to justify the all-out war with Iran. Uh, that going on as well. While that's happening, Bahrain's minister uh, was in Israel. Uh, we will make peace with Israel a success story. Uh, this is like a, a very subtle message to the other Arabic states in the region, either make peace or face the military might of the United States and uh, their allies in Israel throughout the Middle East. Not a very good thing. Later this evening, I'm going to be looking at all these issues, examine some of this from some of these prophetic prophecies in the Bible. There are some that I do believe are still yet to be fulfilled, especially when we're looking at Daniel 1140, where they come over. It's never the king of the north and the king of the south. And of course, they're working against each other like the king of the north is coming to beat up uh, the king of the south, Israel, the, the Melech Nagiv. No, the scripture clearly says they work with him. Emo in Hebrew. Ask any Israeli, can you translate emo against? It's impossible. So we're going to be looking at some of these things as well as from the book of Revelation. I think you're really going to be blessed by that. Uh, that will probably, though, that video is going to have to be on iConnect because we're going to be talking about, you know, this little looming little unseen force enemy out there that's got the world crippled. And uh, I know some of you don't like that when we do this where you only get a 30 second clip here. But understand, there is a major reason. Yana's channel, Rise Up Children of God, last night was shut down completely. What was there that was so bad there? Nothing but facts and truth, and that's why she was targeted. Israeli News Live is targeted as well. And we know that that time is rapidly coming. You need to get subscribed to our other channels. All right? Always remember, we will update you on IsraeliNewsLive.org, right here, our website, so you can know what's going on. We can put an article in there, let you know what's going down, but her channel has been removed. So it's only a matter of time that it's going to happen here. If you go to YouTube, our teaching channel, and I could update you there if something were to go down. Danun Institute is very laid back as biblical teachings. I don't get into anything really, you know, issues that would cause YouTube to have their little issues. Uh, then we have as well, Fact News Network. Uh, let's see if I got that up here on the screen. Don't have it up there yet, but I'll pull it up in a second. But before I pull that up, let me, oh, here uh, here we go. Stephen Ben Noon, under my own name. You know, I didn't even realize that when you have a Gmail account in your name that you can also start the YouTube channel. So when it just dawned on me, I'm like, why not go ahead and start? A, go ahead and start putting some videos there. All right. So we have, and Stephen Ben Noon, 346 people. Y'all saw that. You subscribed. That's great. Uh, it's just a backup place. And then I also have, we have Israeli News Live at Gmail. And so I realized today, oh yeah, that means we have a YouTube channel there as well. So I will take and work on that one as a backup uh, for you guys as well. But don't forget too, we have other channels like Patreon, Israeli News Live on Patreon. And for those of you that have trouble trying to support us right now through our website until we can get our webmaster to fix this problem, uh, Listen, Patreon, it's only a dollar a month. And if you do support more and want to do it as a regular contributor, join Patreon. It's a great way to be able to, to, to support the work we do um, and put it on an auto system and make it easy uh, that way. We have Israeli News Live on Brand New Tube. 
I'll put the link for you below because there are people that copy our work, put it up. I don't have no idea who they are, but they do it anyway. And they do it on Brand New Tube as well. So if you're not specifically on our channel, brandnewtube.com forward slash at Israeli News Live, you're not on our channel. You're on somebody else's channel. And unfortunately, that happens in every platform, Twitter, it doesn't matter what it is, Facebook, there's everybody's got Israeli News Live and half of them are not Israeli News Live in the first place. Okay, then you have iConnectFX.com. And uh, as it says right on the screen, scrolling across now, supports the First Amendment for free speech. They do. Now they're not, they're, they've been clear. They won't tolerate porn. They're not going to tolerate you saying to go wipe out some particular race or something like that. And, and that's understandable. But when it comes to free speech, when it comes to speaking about the current events that are going on in the world or whether you're speaking about some society or something, you're going to be able to speak there, your opinions, without fear of being shut off. The webinars, I just highlighted it in green right there, beside videos to your right there on your screen, fully secure. Well, nothing's bulletproof, but it is far better than Skype or Zoom. You can do a free webinar. You can be on the platform for free. You can subscribe to our channel in here as well. Israeli News Live. I'll put a link in there for you. And uh, if you want to be able to do longer videos, okay, you do a monthly subscription, but still it's not that expensive to do so. But you can join for free. And they will also weed out the little trolls and stuff. So it's a nice platform. I really, really appreciate that platform that was put together by these folks here. And they're watching your comments so that when you have problems, they address it. They'll even comment to you back letting you know we're going to fix that problem. Thank you for letting us know. So please get on these and don't forget the app as well. Our good friend Bill, he actually uploads even the sensitive information from iConnect directly onto the app. It's available for both Androids and Apple products. So please get involved. Don't forget, later this evening, I'm going to be updating you on some things. It will appear on Israeli News Live, but it's going to be a 30-second clip that you're going to have to click on. And as I said... We, we didn't want to have to do this, but YouTube has forced our hand in this uh, this actions because of what they're doing. And two, if you have a channel that's at risk, iConnect is a great way for this because iConnect allows, they have a partnership with YouTube that allows those 30 second clips to upload. And that way your subscribers can see what's going on, see that sensitive information and things that we can upload like this video here, I'll upload right to Israeli News Live as long as we have the platform so you can see it. Uh, Fact News Network will still get news that you don't necessarily get here. And Patreon will still get information that won't be available on any of the platforms. All right. Uh, that's just because we want to do something special for these people that are supporting the work we do here. But they get everything as well. Everything that comes across here, they get that as well. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Thank you. And thank you for your support. IsraeliNewsLive.org.